the other day we got one of our biggest news updates for Dying Light 2 so far, and that's the announcement that the game will receive at least 5 years of content, which includes world expansions such as events, locations, stories, and in-game items. To many, this probably isn't much of a surprise, since the first game is being updated still after nearly 7 years of it being out, so that kinda gave us an idea as to what to expect here. We know Techlink affirmed two paid story DLCs which will contain new content of some sort. We just don't really know if that means they're on the level of the following expansion in the first game, or something smaller scale like the Prison Heist, but of course with its own little story and side quests. The structure of Dying Light 2 can really allow for it to last for a long time if it's executed correctly, as it doesn't seem to be too grindy to upgrade stuff, but there are rewards to be able to grind too if you really want to take that extra measure. Also, with the new gear system and weapon levels, it reminds me of a few looter shooters like The Division and Destiny, and probably a few more I just can't put my mind to right now. And even bringing those up might bring some concern to some people, as those are live service games, which are the type of game that are built to keep people replaying and doing things for a long time. And in this case, let's hope there's enough variety so it never really feels that way in Dying Light 2. But if they follow the same DLC structure as the first game where they bring along new events and things for free, while also the occasional DLC pack with a cool outfit and different weapons, I think it could be fine, really. I am afraid they'll lean a little too hard into that though, but if Techland balances it enough with enough free content, then I just don't think it's a big deal. Just please, no battle pass, please. Because now it seems every multiplayer game is getting one and it's it's a little concerning. But I do think the free content is nice. This announcement means good things in general, don't get me wrong. I just have to be extra honest here. We don't really know how microtransactions are gonna work, and according to the ESRB rating for the game, they will feature them in some form, so just keep that in mind. Anyways, there are a lot of possibilities as to the free DLC they could bring along. They could introduce a new faction into the city like in the first game, with those GRE soldiers. They could introduce new in-game items like weapons, outfits, accessories, new side quests, and locations. The thing I'm personally looking forward to most. Like, it'd be really cool to be able to explore outside of the city a little bit. Or how about a DLC where you could explore the chemical zones with a gas mask, and have to watch your radiation. And shit, that could be something in the main game, we'll figure it out soon enough. But that's really all for now. It's gonna be a content heavy next couple days, so keep an eye out for all of that. And if you enjoyed, then be sure to like the video, subscribe if you want, and adios amigos.